Hello everyone, welcome to Gautam Digital Learning. I am Musab, your trainer for Linux administration. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you few more troubleshooting issues in Linux administration. In the previous video, we have learned that how giving a wrong entry in FS tab will affect your mounting and the booting and how you can fix it. Now today, I'm going to show you some simple issues that arises and can make you really go mad about this concept that why it is not unmounting and why it is effective. Normally, we create a partition or a logical volume and we mount it. But sometimes while you are unmounting, you face some unnecessary issues. So what are those issues and how we are going to fix that issues? Let me show you. So let's go to our Linux machine and let's start working with that. So here is our Linux machine. In this, we have created a partition SDA5. Not only I have created it, but as you can see on my screen, SDA5 is connected to test directory. That means if I have to put any data in SDA5, I have to go to test directory. Through test, I can feed the data to SDA5. This is mounting. And when you break the connection between these two, it is called as unmounting. As a Linux administrator, you should definitely know about this mounting and unmounting concept. Anyway, now to access the data or to put the data in my partition, I'll go to test directory. And here, maybe I'll create some files. Let us say I'll create few files with the name file 125. Now, I came to this directory. I created some data. Now, my work is over. I want to unmount the directory. To unmount the partition, we use the command Yuma and the mount point or the directory name which is test. The moment I hit enter, you see it is going to give me an error that target is busy. Many people keep on me asking this question that why we are facing this issue. See the simple answer is at this moment you are in the same directory that you are trying to unmount. Now it's like you're sitting on the same branch of the tree and trying to cut it. See, if you sit on the same branch of the tree and cut it, you may harm yourself. So same thing will happen. If the directory or the mount point is in use and you try to unmount it, it is going to harm the ongoing activity. So if you want to unmount or disconnect the directory, nobody must be present inside the directory. Now, in this case, I'm going to come out of the directory, you mount and slash test. You see cd dot dot. Now I'm out of the directory. Now you check you mount and test. As you see, there is no problem and you are successfully able to unmount the directory. This is scenario one. Now in this scenario, we were inside the directory, we came out of it, that's fine. There might be another issue that someone else might be in your directory. Then what will you do? See, in this case, let me create this scenario. Let me mount back the partition one more time. So I'll say mount slash test and you see your partition is still automatically mounted. Why? Because you have already given the entry in FS tab. As I have the entry in FS tab, I can just say mount test. It goes to FS tab and mount the partition. Very good. Now, let us log in as some other user. See, in my system, I have one more user whose name is my user. Or maybe I'll create a new user. How can I create a user? You can say user add and any name. You can assign the password to this user and now we can log in with this user. Let me take a duplicate session of the same terminal. Let me log in as Musab user. Let me give the password. To make it more interesting, I'm going to change the colors of the terminal just to have a differentiation that who's who. White terminal is root user and black terminal is Musab user. Now, as a Musab user, I'm going to go into test directory. Not only I'll go inside it, but I'm going to edit one of the files. So scenario is there is a user called Musab who is using your directory right now. Not only he is uh, using the directory, 
but he has opened one of the file in editing it. Now, as a root, I don't know who's inside it. This is the most common issue you'll be facing while unmounting. So as a root, I'm going to say you mount test to or test. The moment I hit enter, I'll be getting the same error target is busy. What I'll do here, I'll check, am I inside it? No. If I'm not inside it, that means somebody else's is using my directory. How can I know who is using my directory and how can I send a message to that user? See, first thing, you can use a command called f user, find user, and you can say show me all current activities that is going on in the system. So when I say f user, show me all current users in test directory. The moment I hit enter, it tells you that in test directory, there are two operations going on, 5130 and 5166. Now, if I want to know a little bit more about it, then I'll use one more command, LSOF. LSOF stands for List Open File. This is going to show you more and more detailed information about what's what. Now, if I say List Open File, test directory. The moment I hit enter, you see it tells me that there are two activities going on in my directory. 5130-5166. What are these? One is bash, the shell, and the other one is vim the vi editor and both are being used by which user musab user now i came to know that there is musab user who is using vi editor in my directory now next step is to convey a message to that user that hey i want to unmount it quickly you come out of my directory how can i send message to that user see in that case there is a command called write so you can say write to whom I'll say write to Musab. What? Now send a message. You can say, hi there, this is root. We need to unmount test. Kindly leave the directory immediately. You have one minute time, maybe. Then you can find control D. The moment you press control D, the message will be fired to that user. Now go to the terminal of Musab and you see all the messages are received by this guy. Now if he is reading the message, he is obliged to answer. Now he has to give the answer so that he can fix that thing. Now if the guy is not responding, what we can do? Now even though you have given several messages, if there is no response and one minute is over, then you can take a forceful action. Although guys in most of the cases, the other people will respond back and with mutual collaboration, we simply get out of the directory and issue will resolve. But if the other side is not responding and forcefully you wanted to unmount it, then you have to use the command f user hyphen ck. Now what I'll do is I'll just minimize both the windows and I'll keep in front of each other. Just observe the black screen that what is going to happen on the black screen. The moment I say f user hyphen ck and the directory, observe here, it is going to automatically killed out. So this is the way how you can actually put the user out of your directory. Now you run f user hyphen cu and test, there is nothing. Nobody is inside it. LSOF test, there is nothing. Nobody is inside it. Now, if I say you mount test to or you mount test, you see you're going to easily unmount the directory. So this is the way guys, mount related issues might come and you will be able to remove it and you will be able to fix that issue. Thank you so very much guys for attending this session. We'll come back with one more very important troubleshooting issue in our next video. Do come back for more and have a nice day.